Chapter 20 Her body kills me. Nina. So when were you going to thank me? Arrow. Better not to. For your safety. Nina. I do not fear her the way you do. How did you manage to impregnate her? Arrow. You have also started. I think I have to go. Nina. I'm sorry for intervening into your privacy. You seem troubled and need help. He warned her, but this young girl never listened. She insisted that Arrow was not in marriage, but in the dungeons of a tiger that was about to tear him apart. He fumed at her that his wife was not a tiger and deserved respect. He walked away and left her there. He did not know how she got his contact. She kept sending him messages every now and then, wanting to see him. However, Arrow turned Nina down. He did not want to ruin her future. Nina one evening found us at Happy Girls Club. Ava had gone for a workshop in Gulu, northern Uganda. I was talking to her about his relationship, which I called a dead end. It had no future since there was a third person controlling it. Aro deserved to be happy. He laughed and told me to look behind. The young girl had come. She was ripe for harvest. She walked straight to him for she knew what she wanted. Nina got a glass of wine from Aro's hand, gave it to me and pulled him to the dance floor. He looked into her eyes and asked her whether she was sure of what she was doing. She was so smart that I wished she chose me. There is that person who can come into your life and you find yourself cheating. I threw curses to the gods for delivering meat to a toothless lion. Nina was still fresh with everything a man desired from a woman. She put her body on arrows as she tightly held him. They finally danced. I was there to persuade the DJ play Arrow's favorite songs by Justin Bieber. Arrow's old days came back. He shook his body with excitement, for Nina had perfectly unlocked him. The moment the slow vibes ran, Arrow stopped and walked out of the club. He saw a temptation coming and tried to avert it. He sat in the car waiting for me to join him. Me wanted Nina to please my brother nothing else. I immediately signaled to her to follow the man she wanted. Nina did as wished to the car and asked him to drive away before people found them. Arrow turned to her and asked her to leave for he did not have any feelings for her. He added that he loved only one person ever. Nina explained that Arrow liked her but feared his wife to find out. She advised him to drive to a certain house outside the city. He wondered how sophisticated Nina was and drove as instructed. She jumped to the front passenger's seat and advised him to relax for everything was under control. Well, it was his first time to reach Mulungo. The two packed and entered some room that looked special by design. As soon as he sat on the bed, he heard a car engine starting outside, then went to check. He only saw lights disappearing into the horizon. He was so suspicious and asked if the place was so busy for night movers. Nina had no answer. She asked if Ava bewitched him because he was on tension as if she was watching over him. When she spoke tirelessly, Arrow wanted to prove that Ava never controlled him. He lifted her greedily to the table on which he made her sit, then squatted down into her legs and seized the left one. He admired her long fingers, which carried cream paint on her nails as he caressed them. Alok closed the eyes and let his hands explore Nina's foot, then ascended to the calf. He had not looked up. Oh, the saying beauty is not born is right. Arrow cast eyes at Nina's naked thighs and stood up. 
she had thrown the blouse away and only remained with the black bra upwards. He had already lost control, for he rushed to touch the thighs, then he jumped to the bra while looking at her lips. He got confused when Nina removed his shirt. He could not remember the time Ava last removed his shirt. No, she had never. Nina asked him to let her take charge. She had researched about Arrow's likes earlier that when the right time came, she unleashed everything to him. Nina stood behind Arrow and caressed him slowly, having turned on soft music. She sat him on the bed, then went to the bathroom. Anxious Arrow got reasons why men cheated. The girl cared beyond expectations. He looked around and saw a notebook behind the pillow that he perused through. Nina had made homework about him. She wrote every message sent to him. She was crazy in love with him. She had written as many letters to him and he failed to send them. He opened one that read, When I saw you, I didn't take it seriously. Though I felt it, I fell in love with you on that day. When you talked to me, I knew you would one day be mine. I prayed for that day. I always come and see you do housework, and I cry because that is what I want to do for you every day. Allow me to take away the rope of slavery from your neck and shower you with unconditional love. You deserve the best. You deserve me. He immediately took it back, then he heard her coming. He dragged her to the bedroom, then threw away her clothes as she removed his pants. She happily hugged and thanked him for everything. Nina put arrow to the wall and kissed him passionately. To her, this was not enough when she went down. Oh, Arrow requested her not to do it if she did not like. She was enjoying every second with him. Arrow too felt nice. The girl washed away the dark days Ava had given him. She got a sponge and did what he used to do to Ava. They washed their bodies then went out. She wiped and kissed him with emotions as he thanked her. He put on the clothes and hugged her with the words, I'm sorry for everything. You are so beautiful and deserve the best. You do not need to be someone's second wife or mistress because you are complete. I want to sleep with you and in a few minutes it will be done. But what will happen between us after those minutes? Let us be good friends. Let us not fall in love, for it will not do us any good. I still want to hug you, see you and smile. Yes, that's it. Tears rolled her eyes. She did not believe that the man denied her after seeing her body. No one had ever done it. She asked him to repeat, for she wanted him to confirm his words. Arrow was serious about every word he spoke. She quarreled that if he did not want her, he should not have gone with her to her room, which she had specially rented for him. Nina immediately pushed him away and shouted at him to leave. She wept hard as she recalled the day her mom died. This lured Arrow to hug her again. Her body was irresistible. She skillfully elevated her head to his and sloped her tongue out of her mouth to touch his lower lip. He kissed her. She held his head tightly as he took her to the bed.
she took his shirt off in no minutes and removed his belt as he spoke of his name. He rolled eyes and pulled out the tongue, then hit his head hard on the floor as if he was possessed. Nina ran out for help as Arrow went to the car and drove away. As he headed to the main road, his phone buzzed. A strange woman's voice spoke that Ava would wish to see Arrow's new catch.